Unlike the Jedi and the Sith, all things should be balanced. But what is a balance? And how do you use one? The laboratory balance is used all the time for a variety of research. For example, in one research article, scientists observed declines in insect populations in areas clearly impacted by humans, but wondered whether those population declines were related to global environmental factors or specific to local human influences. To test that, they measured the change of a population of flying insects in protected areas in Germany with very little human impact over time. But if they measured each bug one at a time, it would have taken them a very long time. So how did they measure population level changes? Well. They measured the biomass, the total weight of the insects that they collected each season. Why do we care about the change in population for insects? Well, they're an important part of the food chain and ecosystem. In this research paper, they found that the insect populations dropped by 75% over the span of 27 years. That's a big difference. Right. So that means that something out there is causing insect populations to decline, even in pristine environments. And that's bad for ecosystems. Yikes. Today, we will show you how to properly use a scale, just like the scientists who conducted the experiment. There are many different types of scales, but they all have the same basic features. There is an on and off button, and there is also a button that will set the weight on the device to zero or tear it. When you go to weigh something, you have to turn on the scale and allow it to calibrate. Then you can place whatever you're using to hold the device on top. If it's a small amount, you can use a piece of weigh paper. If it's a larger amount, you can use this little container called a boat. No, not that boat. This boat. Then you want to press the button to set the weight to zero so that you only get the weight of the substance that you're measuring. Now you can add your substance. Or you may have something that doesn't need a container and then you can simply place it on top of the scale. Be careful though. If you remove the container to add your substance, the scale will include the weight of the container. Do not pour your substance directly from the container. Use a spatula instead. This will help prevent you from accidentally adding too much and making a mess. If your substance requires the use of whey paper, fold the whey paper down the middle like this before you add the substance to keep it from going all over the place. Once you weigh your substance, be sure to write down all of the numbers that the scale shows. When you are finished using the scale, remove the container and the substance. Now, turn off the scale. It is important to do this before you clean the scale so you do not damage it. Now that it is off, you can clean the top of the scale using a brush like this one. And just like that, you have learned the proper procedure to use the scale. Now you can keep everything balanced just as it should be in life and the food chain. Congratulations!